In this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, I name my favorite animal. Zebra. And then I ask a question. Why is this so much easier for me? I don't know. Like... And Ben is the voice of reason, which means we're really in trouble. Let's not be bald. All this and more with the Bourbon Guild Review High West Bourbon. Give me a home where, where the, the buffalo roam. Okay, that's where the deep. Seriously, we're bad. Really? We're bad at singing. Oh. Welcome to a new edition of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. Ben Richards, the butcher of Bakersfield. In this episode, folks. Something that uh, we've been wanting to review for a while. Um, this is High West Whiskey's bourbon. And it's called American Prairie Bourbon. And it says right on the label that it's a blend of bourbons. So we know that we're dealing with probably multiple ages and maybe even multiple sources. I know Dylan's got all the info on that. Um, this comes at us out of Park City, Utah. Not the place that you typically think of for bourbon. Maybe, yeah. maybe skiing. Park City. <laughs> it's not New York City. Get a row. Um, coming at us at 46% alcohol. That's 92 proof. Um, you know, the bottle, I actually kind of like these bottles. They're really tall. It, does it, is it like... Yeah, uh, there's like yeah, divots. Yeah. It's, it's like a textured oh, yeah. kind of thing. I did notice that the labels kind of don't really stick to the texturing all that well. Um, so they're, they also have a couple of different ryes. I think they're probably more... Famous for their ryes, and then they mm. do some blends of bourbons and scotch and rye, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, the little literature card here actually kind of goes through all the different products that, that they put out there. Um, so like I said, it does say it's sourced. Dylan will get to that. Uh, price point on this, MSRP I believe is $35. We actually scored this on sale for $29.99. Wow. Now I've also heard that in certain parts of the country this is really hard to find. Hmm. And in hmm. other parts of the country where we happen to be, it's very easy to find. It's so, all over the place. Yeah, it's all over the place out here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open because I'm really curious about it. Before I do that, though, has anybody here tried this before? No, I have, can't remember. I have tried it, but I tried it at a bar, and I didn't actually see them pour it, and I think they actually poured me the rye. Hmm. But maybe not. Maybe this is just a very rye-forward bourbon, and we'll find out. So <laughs> I'm going to crack it open. Dylan, why don't you give us our background? Yeah, so it is High West, and they're in Utah, but um, this is a blend of three different sourced whiskeys. And Words. yeah, so um, they say that the uh, first one is a two-year-old uh, straight from MGP, but then the second and the third might be, might be, we don't know for sure, but might be from Four Roses. Mm -hmm. And it might, again, it might be the uh, B recipe, which is the uh, high rye. So the MGP is the 75 corn, 21 rye, and four malted barley. If Four Roses is the other kind of the, the distiller, then the B recipe might be 60 corn, 35 rye, and five malted barley. So maybe that's the that's the rye that you were you were tasting. Um, the really nice thing about this bottle um, is that 10% of the proceeds of each bottle goes to the American Prairie Reserve Foundation, which is creating one of the largest nature preserve in lower 48 states. It is located in Montana, and it's a 5,000 square mile reserve. Do you guys know what's on the bottle? No. What, what that it's is? It's like an elk or something or a antelope? That, wrong. A zebra? You guys were singing. A zebra. Pronghorn zebra. antelope. Antelope. Yeah. Antelope. So, right. and it was painted by a, Mon a Montana artist, Diane Whitehead. So, so why the why Montana if this is a Utah product? That's where the uh, the uh, preserve is, the nature. Yeah. That is where the deer and the antelope play. That's right. That is right. That's where the range is? That's correct. That's where we go home? Yeah. So... <laughs> All right, well, let's get the tasting, guys. Jules, give us our scoring criteria as we get into this. All right, guys. If you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we do have a 10-point grading system, very controversial 10-point grading system. <laughs> we give two points for the aroma or the nose, three points for complexity, two points for drinkability, three points for uniqueness, and we also have a bonus point for value. So for us, we uh, try to define value as its availability and price point. I'm going to give it a minute to open up, actually, and see if I can tease anything. Yeah, I'm actually, I agree with you. Um, not with the water, but... On oh, my score? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know what your score is, but I'm saying I got to let it open up a little bit. Yeah. Because I'm having a tough time. Ben, did you just add some water? I did. I added 10 drops. I'm actually thinking of doing that. 
Yeah, me too. I'm, uh, hmm. Just kidding. It's, <laughs> it actually changed it. Yeah. Pretty significantly. I can see it because even just letting it sit and open up, it's Did it change it's for you? evolving. Ben? I, got, uh, I, got I haven't tried it yet, but... On the nose even, I got something totally different. I, I'm know. really struggling. <clears throat> I'm really I'm, I'm really struggling here. Uh, what category are you struggling on? Everything, actually. Really? Yeah. Well, take your time. We can cut all this BS out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's staying in. <laughs> yeah. This is tough. It is tough. Why is this so much easier for me? I don't know. Like... <laughs> This is hard. This was pretty easy for me. I don't really. I think I know why. Because your nose is f***ed up? <laughs> I think I know why it was that hard for you guys. Uh, all right, guys. F uh, not final scores. Preliminary scores. Total scores. Ben, what did you give it? 7.5. All right. Wow. Dylan. Uh, I gave it a 5. <laughs> harsh. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Jules. I gave it a six. Okay, and I gave it a seven. So we're wow. not that far off. Except, <laughs> wow. We're off. I think we can talk Dylan up on a couple cats. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Let's, I, know. Let's, I, think let's I, I think I know what he's going to hate. Let's kick it off with Aroma. I think you guys will be pretty shocked with my score of a 1.5. I, I don't get it. I gave it a 1.5. I, I, I absolutely don't get it. So I got hit with orange peel and like a spiciness, but just interesting flavors that I don't normally get on the nose. The orange peel just... Orange rind, like kind of slightly bitter orange. Yes. You get that too? So I got orange rind. I got a little bit of that rye spice, like the, yeah. the rye, a little bit of mint spice, like yeah. rye spice. But then I really got like a, like a, the sugary, like a vanilla cream. And what's funny is I added water after we opened it up and I got more spice and orange peel after I opened it up. I got the opposite. I got more sweetness after I added Interesting. Water. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, so 1.5. Ben had a 1.5 joules. One out of two. Straight down the middle. Oh, all right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you guys, what um, did you, what of, what of what we said did you not get? Well, so it's mostly that I was docking for things that was missing. So I was missing like the fruity like the stone really? fruit thing. I wasn't getting any of that. I didn't get stone fruit. Yeah. Like a, I didn't uh, get any stone fruit. I got, I got a lot of fruit. I, mean, I got, I got a like an orange and, the, and like a uh, blackberry raspberry. Mm. Yeah, I, no. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's so, missing all that. Uh, missing uh, the sweetness wasn't really there for me on the aroma. Did you have water? Um, not yet. And I am tempted to. Try add some water because that's yeah. when the sweetness came out for me. All okay. right. So I'll go over this. Yeah. All right. Now, I don't know the ratios. I don't know the ratio of the two year and, you know, the six and the 13. But I feel like what I'm smelling is the two year. Mm -hmm. I do get the citrus. I agree. I get the little bit of the orange, orange. and but but it's like a rind. That's mm -hmm. the orange rind. Is but that French French orange. The the orange <laughs> orange. The, the problem is that it's thin mm -hmm. and it's harsh. Yeah, man. I I try to get. Spice. I try to get. It's not. It's not spice. It's 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 the harshness. If That's it, and okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. I tried my best. I mean, I gave it. A, I I mean, this is. That's I was I was smelling this. I was trying to trying to get get some. Yeah, I gave it a try, but man, I cannot. I mean, I think one is actually That's not weak. Bad. Weak. Mm. I, I really the just got one. the citrus orange. That's it. Can, we, can orange. we springboard into drinkability? Because well, let's go to complexity. Let's go in order. Or, sorry, complexity. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, so, complexity. My bad. Yep. Complexity. No, ben, why don't you? What, well, let's get our scores first. Okay. Let's see where we're all standing. So go ahead, Ben. One point five. 1.5. 1.5. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, did, how did we come to well, that? You, I, for like, all of you us. hit the nail on the head for me from aroma, and I'm going to go into drinkability. There's complexity. a harshness in our complexity. Wow. Sorry. There's a harshness to this where I'm yeah. like, this, this, I had to check the proof. I'm like, this is not, this. Yeah. is this me? Like, this yeah. is, there's a harshness to this where I'm like, that's the two year. Yeah, I think it's the two year that's and, just overwhelming. And I, the, where I got the 1.5 is, there's a sweetness to it that I attribute to like a raspberry. Where, and you know what it made me think of? It made me think of um, rabbit hole, sh like the PX sherry cask finish. Um, hmm. There was a sweetness to it where I got, I, it, that's where I got reminded. But then I got a rye spice. Yeah, the rye and spice. I got a little bit of extra, like, like a stone fruit. But... Right. Everything was just so. Everything there was a harshness to it where I'm like, I'd like more of that, but I just man, this. I, so Dylan, what I guess I guess I'm kind of biased because I, what I want in a bourbon is like this rich, like very deep fruit and molasses and honey flavor, and and I want that wood oak to be forward. I'm getting none of that. I'm getting like this two year kind of borderline bourbon and maybe scotch type of flavor profile with this kind of kind of blanketed um, um, harshness. 
that it's really hard to kind of tease out. I mean, right. I get the orange again, I get the citrus, mm -hmm. and I get a little bit of the sweetness. And I can't identify if that's kind of like a sugary or if it's a honey or if it's molasses, but I get a little bit of that, but then that's it. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of ends there. All right, Jules. Uh, well, so, no, yeah. Same, yeah, same as you guys, 1.5. I mean, mostly for me, it's that um, it was just, for me, it's just a confusing drink. Yeah, and I think that's yeah, why. I agree. It's just, I agree. Because I don't get many notes of, you know, uh, all kinds of flavors of different ranges. Yeah. Like I, I wanted the thirteen I year. Just, I wanted to get some yeah. of that thirteen. And I'd be year. curious now how you know how this would taste with more age. Yeah, you know, so. yeah. If they change the blend or yeah. something. Yeah. So my only thing I think I can add to this conversation was that I did get a creaminess on the initial really? palate, yeah, but it got that. so blown out by the spices on the on the finish yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, I was teasing. So is that complex that I'm I'm getting a light sweetness, I'm getting a creaminess, but then this, just the spice overwhelmed it. Yeah. And maybe this is a good segue into drinkability. So let's, let's just jump to drinkability. Sure. Um, I gave it a one, and I was going back and forth between a one and a one point five. But ultimately, I want, the only reason I wanted to keep tasting it was to see if the flavors evolved. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't really think is that can mean it's interesting, but it, that wasn't the reason I was drinking it. I was drinking it because like, I feel like there's something else in there, but I never got it. So I ended up bumping it to bumping down to a one. Yeah. So, <laughs> so was, actually, I gave it a 1.5 for the opposite of that logic. Um, the only reason, so originally I was going to say it one and two, so middle of the road. But the reason I gave it that 0.5 boost is because I, I'm intrigued. I do want to keep it drinking is. it yeah. because of. Okay, there's some weird stuff happening. I don't know really what the musical note is, but yeah. I'm curious to find out more. But see, you know what? I applied that to uniqueness. Ah, good point. I yeah. didn't think that was drinkability. Anyway, yeah. go on. Yeah, so um, I really love the fact that they donate the proceeds, like 10% of it, this to, drinkability. to this, right? No, I get that. Yeah. But, um, you know, I gave it a one. But I'm thinking about bringing it, bringing it down to 0 0.5. I don't know. Bring um, it down. Because, I, you know, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, I mean, I I am drinking it, but, man, you know, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm done. Like, I, I, I just don't see myself reaching for this. Because it's that uh -huh. two years just killing me. Yeah. And I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to yeah. go down. Okay. You're gonna drop. Yeah. Go to a point five. Huh? Point five. Yeah. Wow. All right, Ben. You had a one also. Anything to add? I had a one point five, and I dropped. Oh. I docked. <laughs> I docked, docked it down to, to one after okay. talking to you, but also. So I will. I want to go back because I did. I I want to reaffirm what you said about the molasses. There was like a dark like a dark sugar molasses flavor to it. But again, I'm coming back to that harshness. But I think that harshness that we're getting is from the two year, and I'm just. I agree. It's killing a lot yeah. of the score for me. Okay, guys, so next category, uniqueness. Now, I factored in what I thought to be a pretty unique bottle, a very totally. unique story. Totally. It's, yeah. a, it's a bourbon from Utah. Yeah. It's it proceeds going to protect wildlife and, and wildlife preserves. And the fact that it is, a, it is a unique flavor. Like, we may not really all like it that much, but I do think it is a unique flavor. And I, I, tr I, I had trouble because I didn't really like this flavor, but I definitely think it's unique. And mm. I ended up at a two for all those reasons. Mm. Okay. I Jules. gave it a 1.5 middle of the road for middle? all those This reasons. is a middle of the road uniqueness? Seriously? Well, honestly, there was nothing else unique about it other than everything you just said. And but that's, that's a, a lot. How many other bourbons contribute to wildlife preservation and have this kind of flavor <laughs> Exactly. Profile. You like that logic? Uh, makes no, I, I hear you, but I mean, it's most. I gave it all 1.5 for the marketing aspect of it, not yeah. even from the taste. That's harsh. So. So, so I originally gave it a 1.5, but I'm bringing it up to a 2. Thank you. Correct score. And I, think, I, I mean, you, you convinced Thank me. You. I think, um, I, I, you know, the fact that, again, this is to protect wildlife and all that, I, I you know, I subsidize that, no problem. Um, I mean, the flavor profile is definitely unique. It is not something that I personally like. And I don't know if I would reach for this, to be honest with you. That's why I had yeah. to bring down the drinkability. Yeah. Well, I but agree. I, I, I agree. Increased and that's why I, I had trouble, because I, I do think that these flavors are unique. But just because I don't like it, yeah. right, doesn't mean that it's not unique. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben, anything to add on that? Um, no, same. The, I will say 0. 0.5 is the 10% donating to yeah. the American Prairie. Agreed. Um, but maybe it's maybe it's 2.5 and it's one5 Seven five for this the taste because I don't want to categorize it as middle of the road. There's a harshness yeah. to it, but behind that there's some really great flavors. And there's almost and part of that harshness is almost like there's almost like a peppery spice, not like a not like the rye spice you'd expect from a yeah. bourbon. But this I, I actually think this would be fantastic mix. I totally that's what I was gonna say. So totally so yeah. I, and it's twenty nine bucks. Yeah. yeah so what I'm yes. saying is like I think that was gonna my up. my total score is what it is for drinking it straight. Yeah. yeah. Or neat, but. If you if you think about the mixing potential, you know yeah, it could be a ten. It is I mean, interesting. Could, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. final category, bonus category for value. Let me start. 
because I was I yeah. just no just on it's that fun. on what we just said. I actually was at a one, but I brought it down to a point five because of what we said about maybe I wouldn't reach for this. But that point five That's is because bucks. this is a damn good price and damn mm -hmm. damn if you don't throw it into a cocktail and drink yourself high on the prairie. <laughs> Done. You just wanted to see. Man, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I give it a I give it a zero. Ooh. Um I, I struggled with this again. I went back and <laughs> 29 forth. Bucks. I went back and forth, so I said, okay, what, what, what can I get for thirty dollars? Well I can get four what roses in my batch. That's fair. Well, I can get, I can get hard to find. I can get Eagle Rare. Um Eagle Rare ten. I could get McKenna ten. I can get you know, there's a long list yeah. of thirty dollar bourbon that I would reach for before this and yeah. and and I, I would I would give it a higher score if I thought that the sixteen year was a little bit more forward mm -hmm. and I'm getting more for my money because mm -hmm. for thirty dollars I'm getting something oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying thir sixteen. Sixteen is the rye. Mm -hmm. Thirteen year. If I get if I get more of that four roses thirteen, um I would give it a higher score. But I I gotta I I gotta stick to zero man. I I'm just yeah, lost. I mean, I gave it a 0.5, um, you know, basically just because of its availability, mostly out where yeah. we live. Um, price point's nice, but yeah, I mean, I'm sticking to something else that's yeah. under 35. Yeah, you guys just yeah. convinced me to come down to so. a 0.5. I was actually at a 1, Yeah, mm. mainly because I see this everywhere, and I know that it's... You know, we're on the West Coast, and yeah, but you don't reach for it. You would, but you're right. you'd rather get a you know yeah. another. You would I, you know instead of five. trying to get a 13 year four for roses, I would just get a four roses. There's yeah. a place for, for that price. Yeah, but There's but I think point five makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And a mixed I mean, cocktail, <laughs> or <laughs> or go straight. Go straight. <laughs> <laughs> or go straight MGP, right? Get, you know. You, but I think you, well, you hit the nail on the head for 29 bucks. Yeah. I mean, if I'm getting something to sip. Old I'm gonna, Ezra. I'm going to pick Old Ezra. I'm going to pick Henry yeah. McKenna. I'm going to pick, Evan you know, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of other yeah. things. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Zero. So right availability, there, okay. it is out there. All right. Let's not be bullies. Yeah. Let's not be bullies. It's it's certainly not a bad offering. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> not up our alley necessarily. So let's get our final tally here, guys, for right. American Prairie Bourbon from High West. Ben? 6.5. I came down a little. Yeah. Five. Five. Still rough. Jules? 6.0. Oh. And I, I ended up coming down to a 6.5 as well. Okay. So, our official Bourbon Guild score for American Prairie Bourbon from High West out of Park City, Utah. A six. Hey. Hey. hey not bad. That is, not you know, bad. for a new bourbon... It's a six shooter. Now, I, I do. I do want to mention one. Well, I do want to mention one thing though. Um, <clears throat> so the they they have been starting to uh, use their own juice from Utah. So I think the rye is now incorporated. The rye I think incorporates um, MGP and their own. It okay. used to be MGP and Barton. So uh, you know, in the future, this could change. Yeah. So I think if if they finally switch it. To, to kind their of own their juice. own juice, yeah. I think it's worth reviewing. It is, and you know, so. I mean, I always hate to a newer bourbon that's out there. I, I don't hate to slam it. I don't. Yeah. I don't think we're slamming this at all. Six no, is a good score, six. right? And for your first offering on the on the wide market, that's that's pretty solid. Yeah. But let's stay tuned. Let's see what else they come out with in the world of bourbon. I think for the, I think <laughs> this score is representative of the kinds of bourbons we've been trying and sipping on this show. And what you know, what we see on Instagram, what we see people drinking, it's neat or like one cube, like. I think that's a fair score. Yeah. Like, isn't six uh, like a double gold in six, most of the yeah, competition? Yeah, exactly. It's it's double, triple silver. gold. Everything's gold. Six, 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 gold, gold, gold everywhere. All right, Jules, take us out. Hey guys, well, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Subs if you love what we're doing. Uh, be sure to comment below. Subs, Check us subs out. Subs means subscribe. Subs. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> to make that totally clear. Wow, really? <laughs> anyway, wow. check us out on the Instagrams, Facebooks, our website. <laughs> now listen up, cowboys. You tip those bartenders and y'all come back now, you hear? Bourbon Guild, out. <laughs>